Our torque is actually a vector, and to work it out in full mathematical detail, you need to use vector maths, in particular the cross product. Now, the equation is the torque, written using the Greek letter tau typically, vector, is equal to r, displacement vector, cross product, the force. Now, what does that mean? Let's imagine I'm trying to work out the torque of this book. I'm holding it here, and its weight is trying to turn it, so there's a torque. So the first thing to do is work out where is your hinge, where is the axis. In this case, the hinge is going to be along here, because that's where I'm holding it. Then you've got to work out where is the force. In this case, the force is the weight, which is acting on the centre of mass. So the centre of mass is about here somewhere, and the force is going to be a weight, which is downwards, energy like this. So that's the force vector. We also need the displacement vector r, and that's going to be the vector from the axis to the force. So here's the axis, so r is going to be from here to the force, so it's going to be along that. So we have two vectors, r and f. We need to do the cross product. The way you do that is you can slide them tail to tail, so you get r and you get f. You can work out using the right-hand rule, what do you need to twist to turn the R into the F? Because the R is first. So the right-hand rule, R to F, you have to twist downwards. So like this, which means that the torque points in this direction. And in this case, because the two are at right angles, it's also going to be the magnitude of R times the magnitude of F. And because they're at right angles, it'll just be that. If they're in the same direction, it will be zero. If there's something in between, there'll be a trigonometry function. Okay, so let's do a worked example of a complicated torque problem. Let's imagine we've got this box, which has got a hinge through the middle over here. So this is the axis of rotation. And let's say that for whatever obscure reason you're applying a force in this direction. Maybe there's a rope pulling like that. Now what is the torque in the situation? Well, the equation for torque equals the displacement vector cross product the force. We know the force. We need to work out the displacement vector. Now the displacement vector is the vector from the axis to the force. Now where on the axis? It's from the nearest point on the axis, which in this case is going to be here, not say here or somewhere else like that. So what's the vector from there to there? Now, this location is 3 plus 1, so that location is going to be 4 in the x direction, and it's 2 plus, plus 3 in the y direction, because this is 4 along there, and that's 3 up here. How about this place? Well, that's going to be 1 in the x direction plus five in the y direction. Now r is going to be from here to here, so that's going to be the final end of the vector here minus the start. So that's going to be x plus five y minus four x plus 3y, which comes out as x minus 4x, so it's going to be minus 3 in the x direction, plus 2 in the y direction, which makes sense. You're going back 3 this way and up 2 there. OK, so we know r and we know f. Now we need to remember the cross product formula. which is if you don't remember that go back and look at the vectors lesson and it also remind you of a, uh, a quick pattern to help you get this out okay so in this case a is r and b is f so r cross f is equal to the y component of r which is 2 
times the z component. Now there are no z components for anything, so that's going to be zero. So the whole x thing is going to be zero. Okay. So the only ones that matter are the ones with no no z components. Here again, there are z components. That's going to be zero. So it's going to be this term is the only one that actually matters because there are no z components. So we want a x. A is the first term r, so it's the x component of r, which is minus 3 times the b component of the force, which is 1, minus a y, minus 2 times 4, all times z comes out as minus 11 z. So it means the torque is pointing in the minus z direction and is quite strong. Is that correct? Well we can check using the right hand rule. We want to use our right hand. We've got the r vector and the f vector and which way do we need to curl our fingers to take the r vector to the f vector and sure enough it's going to point into the screen so that all works